Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we'll discuss uh, some uh, basic signal operations. These include signal uh, shifting, signal scaling, sig uh, signal uh, reversing. So we'll, do, uh, we'll uh, do all of these operations in time domain. That's why we call it time shifting, time scaling, and time reversal. And uh, what are these operation? let's see let's start with uh, time shifting time shifting uh, of any signal xt actually represents uh, the signal will be shifted uh, from uh, from its uh, originated pro point to <clears throat> to some other uh, uh, to some other uh, time unit Point. For example, uh, this is a signal XT, and uh, uh, this signal uh, is uh, with this uh, uh, extraordinary shape, and uh, this uh, we want to shift uh, this signal from uh, from its uh, own point or from its originated point to some other uh, uh, time point right so uh, this uh, shift can happen to right wise or left wise right so uh, if uh, the signal has been shifted to uh, right side in a uh, particular time unit uh, then the signal will be uh, called as uh, time uh, right time shifting of this signal and if it uh, if it is uh, shifted to left uh, left side then this will be uh, right shift okay so uh, what is uh, this uh, the significance of this shifting well uh, this is uh, XT you can see over here and if we shift uh, uh, towards right side uh, in T uh, of T unit uh, then uh, this uh, the uh, that particular signal uh, will shape like that uh, this one right so uh, this is the point yeah uh, when the signal started to rise and when uh, it is shifted to uh, uh, to T unit in right side then the signal will uh, uh, will start after uh, after T unit point of time from that from this point and it will uh, uh, it will start to rise Okay, and uh, for example, uh, in these two signals, here is the peak point, right? <coughs> so the peak point is also shifted by uh, capital T uh, in right, uh, right side. Uh, so this is, uh, that means the whole signal, whole or every values of this signal, all the values of this signal has been shifted to uh, uh, shifted to T unit, capital T unit in right side, right? <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, this is the uh, right shift. We are actually uh, sta uh, uh, like observing the uh, uh, the geometrical shape, uh, how uh, how it is happening. And if uh, if uh, the, uh, XT is shift, uh, shifted to uh, shifted in uh, left side to T unit, then uh, um, this uh, this shape will appear, right? So this one is uh, here. This signal is shifted rightwise, and uh, here this signal is shifted it left wise so how we express this uh, time shifting okay <coughs> so basically the thing is <coughs> the thing is uh, 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 okay so uh, we call it time shifting because uh, you can see uh, every operation is happening with respect to this time axis right so this is uh, x axis is representing time and we are shifting the signal uh, either right wise or left wise uh, in this time axis right that's why we call it time shifting remember uh, in our course we uh, we use uh, to express any signal in terms of t i mean as a function of time that's why we will uh, will deal everything with respect to time right so when uh, it is uh, it is shif shifted uh, right wise uh, what is actually happening uh, it is actually uh, we are <coughs> we are actually uh, 
uh, we are uh, we are expressing uh, this function uh, as t minus t when uh, we use t minus capital t or t notch whatever term you use this uh, this value this value is uh, the amount of uh, shifting val shifted value and we when uh, we actually shifting right wise we express uh, this uh, shifting with uh, the negative term and in case of uh, left shifting we use <coughs> uh this uh positive sign okay so if uh, uh if you get x of t minus capital t that means the x of t has been shifted right wise if you get uh, x of t plus capital t uh, that means the signal has been this x of t signal has been shifted left wise okay so uh, what is actually happening uh well this is uh this is our reference point which is zero in time axis and uh, for example this is minus five okay so uh, in x of t uh, the signal is uh, uh, is uh, uh, like uh, increasing its value from the value minus five we call this value as minus five <clears throat> okay so from minus five the signal is rising right in x of t so when uh, we operate uh, we shift x of t by t minus capital t for example capital t is uh, uh, capital t is 3 okay so uh, when <coughs> we uh, uh, we are uh, we are operating this x of t by x of t minus 3 then what will uh, happening uh, happening actually uh, uh, this x of t has become now <coughs> uh, uh, t minus 3 if a uh, capital T is 3 then this one is t minus 3 right so when it is t minus 3 that means we are actually shifting this point to uh, 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 right wise by 3 unit right if this is 3 so uh, what is happening here uh, if uh, this is minus 5 and we shift this by 3 unit then this will be minus 4 minus uh, 3 minus 2 then uh, minus 1 right so when uh, the signal is started to rise from minus 5 it is now starting to rise from minus 1 right when we are uh, we are uh, uh, doing x of t minus 3 okay so uh, here the signal is starting from minus 1 that means uh, in uh, in time axis uh, uh, when the value uh, when the t is equals to 0 we have got a certain value which is maybe uh, 10 right uh, whatever the value we call it for example in our approximation we call it uh, a 10 unit value amplitude in amplitude okay so at zero it was 10 and when uh, uh, when the time is shifted we'll get uh, at 3 the value 10 unit okay or otherwise you can say this uh, these values these values as long these values has been shifted right wise then the starting point is uh, uh, is now delayed from minus 5 to minus 1 that means it was uh, it was about to happen at uh, at xt it was about to happen at minus 5 but uh, in phi t <coughs> which is a shifted signal of uh, uh, of xt here this at minus 5 the signal is still zero but at minus 1 the signal started to rise okay that means uh, it uh, this is the time axis we uh, we are happening these are the time values at different time values we are having different uh, uh, different <coughs> uh, different signal values okay so uh, it was supposed to it was supposed to arise from minus 5 but when we shifted this value to right wise the time has been delayed right so uh, as uh, 
uh, when we are right shifting we are actually delaying the signal for example it was happened to uh, it was uh, it was about to happen here but it is now happening here that means it, it is a little time delay okay so this is uh, that means if we uh, if we do right shift we are actually delaying the signal okay uh, what about the left shift left shift actually we are advancing the signal that means uh, here uh, at minus 5 the signal is about to rise but at minus 5 it is already uh, rising right so that means before minus 5 that means when we are doing t plus 3 uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, if uh, t uh, capital T is three, that means we are actually for uh, fast forwarding the signal and we are advancing the signal, <clears throat> and now it is actually happening from minus eight, right? At minus eight, the signal is uh, uh, rising. That means it was about to happen here, but uh, as long uh, this is the time axis and this is minus infinity and here is plus infinity and we are uh, increasing the value of t from minus infinity to uh, plus infinity that means these are the time advancement period uh, okay uh, and uh, for this particular signal the signal uh, is about to rise at minus 5 but when we shift the left side uh, it is already rising that means uh, the signal is advanced right the uh, here at minus 8 the signal started to rise and at minus 5 it is already rising okay so uh, this is the uh, like uh, actual uh, geometrical uh, phenomenon and geometrical observation of signal shifting now we'll deal with some problems and how we actually uh, uh, doing this operation for example this is a signal uh, this signal is x of t <coughs> x of t uh, is equals to e to the power minus 2t this is the signal and uh, what we supposed to do we, we we are supposed to find the x of t minus 1 and x of t plus 1 how we, we are going to do this so uh, if we express this signal in terms of uh, uh, mathematical equation we can express this x of t equals to e to the power minus 2t uh, when t is greater than or equals to 0 look this if this is x of t uh, <clears throat> if this is x of t then uh, x of t is equals to e to the power minus 2t when t is equals to 0 to infinity that means we can express the value uh, we can express the t as t equals to 0 to infinity <coughs> here t is greater than or equals to 0 okay t is the for all the values of t which is greater than or equals to 0 the function is e to the power minus 2t here we express x of t equals to e to the power minus 2t when uh, t is greater than or equals to 0 okay and for uh, in other side uh, the value uh, of the signal is 0 when when that uh, uh, when the value of t is less than 0 right see when the value of uh, t is less than 0 the signal is also zero so this is our uh, like mathematical expression of x of t now we are supposed to uh, find out the value of x of t minus 1 so what will be the value of x of t minus 1 uh, uh, this is x of t minus 1 and this is our x t to find out x of t minus 1 we will replace all the small t's of this function this is actually our main function here the function is expressed with uh, with respect to small t which is uh, time and uh, we want to find out t minus 1 that means we can uh, find uh, t minus 1 the uh, x of t minus 1 by replacing all the small t's of this function by t minus 1 okay so uh, uh, we'll put x of t minus 1 here 
it is written here x of t minus 1 which is equals to e to the power the main function is e to the power minus 2t now the function will be e to the power minus uh, 2 2 into t minus 1 right we replace this t with t minus 1 because we want to find x of t minus 1 about uh, these t's are uh, 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 these t's will also be uh, uh, replaced by t minus one. Uh, here we'll replace t minus one is greater than uh, or equals to zero, which is uh, which is uh, done here. T minus one is <coughs> greater than or equals to zero, uh, and uh, there is no t over here. That's why we just put zero here. And for this t, we also put t minus one. Uh, uh, by replacing this t uh, which is less than zero which is less than zero okay uh, by evaluating this uh, these two function what we got t is greater than or equals to one and for this function t is less than <coughs> one okay thank you so it is less than one okay uh, so this is x of t minus one uh, similarly we can find uh, the advanced signal of x t which is x of t plus one and here we replace x of t by x of t plus one and then uh, re we'll replace this small t with t plus one this t with t plus one this t with also t plus one and we evaluated this function and we have got t is greater than or equals to minus one here t is less than uh, less than uh, minus one and this is our function and if we plot this uh, these two functions x uh, x d t we uh, will get this function and x a t will get uh, this function so uh, here we uh, we can see that this was uh, our main function when we shifted uh, when we uh, found x of t minus one we actually uh, delayed the signal to uh, to one unit uh, in right side and we have got this signal and uh, it, it which is x of t minus one and for x of t plus one we are actually advancing the signal uh, but we, uh, it was our signal and we advanced this signal by one unit uh, with uh, uh, in uh, in left side and we have got this signal so uh, if you uh, if you plot these two signals uh, you will get these two signals and you will be uh, you'll find these changes over here so uh, this is about the signal uh, time shifting and time reversal of uh, of uh, different signals in ta uh, in time domain uh, and uh, uh, what you need uh, what you need to uh, know from this lecture definitely which is uh, what uh, what are the uh, what are the uh, two types of shifting methods and uh, what will happen after this uh, shifting uh, how the signal has be, has been delayed how we can advance the signal uh, uh, and uh, also uh, what are the uh, what are the uh, uh, finding methods of uh, different shifting or evaluating method of uh, uh, shifting signals and uh, uh, how can we plot these signals these are the important things that you uh, you need to know from this lecture so uh, i hope uh, you'll study a few examples from uh, from the shares uh, from the uh, main file that is given to you in, in your earlier lectures uh, practice this and if you find any uh, any uh, difficulties uh, let me know i'll uh, i'll definitely help you in that regard so thank you so much for uh, your patience listening uh, i hope uh, you enjoyed the lecture thank you so much